Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about solving problems using the order of operations. Many of you have heard the term, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Today we're going to use the same acronym, PEMDAS. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for add. And S stands for subtract. When evaluating expressions, you always use this order and you move from left to right, okay? You should notice that you have the word or between the M and the D. That means that you are going to solve multiplication or division, whichever one comes first in the problem. Same for addition and subtraction. Whichever one comes first in the problem, from left to right, you solve first. Okay, first example, we have six squared minus, open parentheses, 3.1 or three and one tenth times five plus two and three tenths, close parentheses. So according to order of operations, we would solve what's in parentheses first. When we look inside parentheses, we have two different operations. We have multiplication and we have addition. According to PEMDAS, multiplication comes before addition. So here we go. The first thing we're gonna solve is three and one tenth times five. I'm gonna to go to the side to show my scratch work. One times five is five. Five times three is 15. I have one number behind my decimal that tells me that I need to move my decimal one place. So three and one tenth times five equals 15 and five tenths. Now, I'm going to rewrite everything that I did not touch, including my parentheses, because I have not completed everything in parentheses. Okay, you should notice that you still have parentheses, so we are still on the P. 15 and 5 tenths plus 2 and 3 tenths. I'm going to my scratch work and adding two and three tenths to my 15 and five tenths. I am adding a placeholder here because there's nothing to go with this one. Five plus three is eight. Bring down my decimal. Five plus two is seven. One plus zero is one. So 15 and five tenths plus two and three tenths equals 17 and eight tenths. Now, I am completely done with parentheses, so therefore I can solve the rest of my problem. I'm gonna bring down the six squared and the minus Brittany one. Brittany Ezell to the front office for pickup, please. Okay, Brittany Ezell to the front office for pickup, please. Mm -hmm. All right, Fine. we gonna end all that. Mm -hmm. The next thing that you should see is exponents. So I need to figure out what six squared is. Okay, now when you're dealing with exponents, six is your base and two is your exponent. The two tells you how many times that you'll multiply your base. So I'm going to the side and do my scratch work. And six squared is the same thing as six times six and six times six equals 36. I'm going to replace 6 squared with a 36 and I'm going to bring down everything else that I did not touch. Minus 17 and 18. Now, to finish the problem off, I do my last step, which is subtraction. So, we need to figure out 36 minus 17 and 18. Now, I should notice that 36 does not have a decimal. So I need to add a decimal at the end of the number and I need to add a placeholder so that my decimals line up correctly. Now, 
I cannot take eight from zero, so I'll need to regroup. My zero becomes a 10, my six becomes a five. I cannot take seven from five, so I need to regroup again. My three becomes a two, and my five becomes a 15. Now I can subtract. 10 minus eight equals two, bring down my decimal. 15 minus seven equals eight, and two minus one equals one. My final answer is 18 and, 18 and 2 tenths.